Captain Shelley for Boat Test, and in this video we're conducting a features review of the SLX 260 Surf from Sea Ray. This boat that puts the focus on wake sports is the third in the lineup of the 26-foot SLX models. The 260 Surf features an innovative, forward-facing stern drive that moves the propeller 26 inches forward and away from the surfer without compromising performance. The SLX 260 Surf also provides a comfortable ride for the casual cruiser while at the same time supplying an exhilarating wake surf for riders. Let's take a closer look starting with the wake surfing technology. Creating a clean wake for surfing and other tow sports begins with the engine. The SLX 260 Surf is powered by a single 350 horsepower Mercury Mercruiser 6.2 liter engine with forward facing Bravo 4 S drive that features contra rotating dual props. With two props working, there's greater prop surface area for gripping the water, which means more engine torque for faster hole shots and better fuel efficiency. Above the waterline, the surfing features continue overhead. The standard electrically actuated water sports tower has top and side mountain surf tow points so riders can easily get positioned on their boards, and the integrated bimini top offers shade to the captain and the spotters. The tower can also be upgraded with three-position swiveling board racks and Fusion Signature Series tower speakers. The technology behind the advanced weight capabilities can be found at the helm, starting with the dual 9-inch Simrad touchscreens that have a custom smart tow interface to control the settings within the Water Sports app. These integrations allow for a customized experience for each rider, no matter what their skill level. Simply select your activity and the smart tow system will let you choose the desired launch acceleration, towing speed, wave height, pocket length, and which side of the boat the rider prefers to ride on. The Mercury SmartCraft digital throttle and shift system coordinates between electric surf tabs and the propulsion, allowing the captain to focus solely on the water ahead while the spotters keep an eye on the safety of the rider. Also at the helm is active trim control C-Zone Digital Switching for Seamless Command, Chart Plotter, and Depth Finder. On the starboard side of the power steering wheel is the SmartCraft DTS controls and the switch panel with illuminated weatherproof chrome switches. To port is the Fusion Apollo head unit. If you opt for the entertainment bundle, the dash is upgraded to include inductive charging for multiple devices. This will come in handy especially if you're using the Mercury Vessel View Mobile. This is a mobile app that displays vessel view data on the device of your choice. Now, let's take a look at the boat itself. The Sea Ray SLX 260 Surf has a length overall of 25 feet 9 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 48 inches with a stern drive in the down position. Boat Test has not conducted a full performance review, but Sea Ray has published the best cruising and top speeds for this hull. The SLX 260 Surf with standard propulsion cruises at 28 to 32 miles per hour and top speeds will be around 44 to 46 miles per hour. The boat has a dry weight of 6,198 pounds, has a 75 gallon fuel capacity and a 14 gallon fresh water tank. All fueled up and ready to go, the fully optioned 260 Surf weighs in at 7,600 pounds. Now, let's look at all the amenities for when the surf and wake boards are stowed. Starting in the bow, there are several options, including a bow boarding ladder or choose the anchor bundle that adds a stainless steel anchor and electric windlass. There's U-shaped seating with attractive stitching and high quality material. Forward looking loungers have folding armrests and storage recesses and cup holders are intuitively placed. Under both loungers, you'll find storage, but lift the starboard seat and gain access to the large storage space that features dedicated storage for the optional sun pad filler cushions, as well as bow and cockpit teak tables. Moving aft, Sea Ray tells us that the windshield has been specifically designed to be level with the horizon when the boat is on plane. There is an air dam below the folding center windshield, and the starboard console has a dedicated trash can and remote ignition switch. To port, the dash has built-in storage. This is a great place to store your first mate, marine safety and security system wristbands when not in use. Below is a large storage area, or you can opt to add a sink with storage underneath and a head in this compartment. Both captain and observer bucket seats have flip-up bolsters and can slide forward and aft. They also swivel so these seats can join the fun in the cockpit. Bucket seats as well as the rest of the seating in the cockpit feature branded embroidery 
and the same stitch work pattern seen throughout the boat. After the cabin seat is a small seating bench with dedicated storage for soft-sided coolers. Opposite is deep L-shaped seating, including additional storage below the cushions that lift with gas-assisted struts. Cup holders, USB outlets, and grab handles are in all the right places. The engine is also accessed from the cockpit and is contained in a finished compartment where regular maintenance items like batteries, filters, and pumps are within reach. Moving to the transom, the large sun pad is another social zone or place for surfers to prepare their equipment. There are more cup holders, storage cubbies, USB ports, and music controls here as well. Lift the aftmost cushion and there's a hold that you can fill with ice and use as a cooler or use the additional storage for fenders and lines. On the port side, there's a large storage compartment for easy access to water sports gear, inflatables, and other water toys. At the stern swim platform, there's a manual submersible swim step that makes reboarding easy. Also at the swim step is a tow hook and optional stern shower. This area is obviously going to be a favorite place to hang out with your legs and feet in the water, especially if you select the optional performance decking. And for those sunset cruises, Sea Ray has seamlessly blended courtesy lighting throughout the boat. The designers have even added an optional tower projector that shines the Sea Ray logo down onto the deck. With a touch of a button, you can adjust the multicolor LED lights both above and below the waterline, so there's no need to rush back to the dock at the end of the day. Sea Ray is known for designing boats for all types of boaters, and the SLX 260 Surf is a good example of a design that serves both water sports and cruising activities. We're looking forward to conducting a full performance evaluation, but until then, I'm Captain Shelley for Boat Test.